We all want that 20x gain in our portfolio, but are AI projects really the projects that we should be looking at? I think we need to evaluate some of the other areas in our lives to actually understand how we could accomplish getting 20x gains out of any cryptocurrency project. So what we're going to do is uncover all the right things that you'll need to find those 20x AI projects and not only that, the 20x other projects that are out there. Let's get into this video. So I believe first and foremost, we know that it's a challenge to get into cryptocurrency. I think we're, sometimes we get into cryptocurrency and our main focus is just to make the most amount of money we can. But the problem is, is we want to do it today. We want to do it tomorrow. We want to do it in less than a week. And that's 100% impossible. Now, you can catch some huge games such as these. And those are ultimately an example of what the cryptocurrency market can do. But the real problem lies is that us as human beings are in a state of the abyss when it comes to cryptocurrency. We have no idea. We have no crystal ball. We can't predict any future of what cryptocurrency is going to do and especially what's going to happen to coins and how much gains they're going to receive or our institutional investors actually going to jump in and buy these cryptocurrency projects to drive up the valuation of the project but we remain in that abyss but we're not helpless that's the thing we're not helpless we do have tools that could help us understand what to look for when we are sitting in that abyss waiting for something to happen in the crypto market so if we could identify what we're lacking as far as it comes to what can we contribute to our portfolios as far as research goes, as far as how to understand how to pick the right projects, how to invest in the right projects. These are all key elements that we need to focus on in order to be successful in cryptocurrency. So what we want generally is instant gratification. And what does that do but put stress on us because we don't know. So the best thing that we can do is understand how to find a solution to these problems. The first problem is getting out of that constant mind state of wanting to make money today or tomorrow. It's not going to happen, especially the size of money that we're looking at. And obviously, cryptocurrency is one of the only markets that can provide a huge amount of volatility, which can potentially give you huge gains in the long term and understanding how that works and how that happens. So understanding the timing of crypto market of the crypto market and not necessarily timing of when projects are going to hit understanding of what the timeline of cryptocurrency looks like that's one of the first things that we have to focus on to chip away at getting that instant gratification out of our mindset and out of our system and out of our emotion we take that away we're already a step forward into being a better successful crypto investor So how do we necessarily understand the crypto market? Well, the first tool that we have is this. This is called the psychology of a market cycle. So this will generally give you an idea of what it looks like to be in a crypto market. Now, there's two, two sides of this market. There's a bull market and a, and a bear market. Bear markets generally last two years. Bull markets generally last two years. It just depends. It depends on the state of the crypto market and the crypto space. But right now we're looking at a time frame of being in a bull market uh based on some historica data uh, of about maybe 400 to 600 days maybe even more i don't know but that's from today's date so if you look at having four to six hundred days to find five to ten projects on to invest in i mean come on how hard is that right if you put the effort in you could create change within your mindset and within understanding that now you're cutting out that instant gratification mode and you're looking at a more of a, a macro type vision of what the cryptocurrency market can do for you so essentially you can find 20x projects you can find 30x projects but here's the deal you could find five to ten projects that could each gain you 
10x on every project so that would put you at a 50 to a 10 uh yeah 50 to 100x potential basically just by setting those coins and in obviously not everything's going to be consistent because i said we can't tell the future of what cryptocurrency can do but you have to understand that some will do 10x and some will do 40x and some will do 50 or 60x and all the research that you put in you know you're only valuating this at a 10x project you get a 25x out of it you're already up another 15x based on what your initial target was going to be so you have to be able to understand and put yourself in a position to be able to be successful to get your maximum potential out of a portfolio cryptocurrency in my mind is the only market that could provide these types of gains at this time if you look back into the stock market the stock markets generally take a longer period of time to get that type of volatility now crypto markets can do it at the snap of a finger you could see uh for the past month we've seen a couple weeks of huge huge gains from projects like caspa projects like jasmine coin projects like um, some micro type projects that have done almost a uh, hundred percent are 900 percent gains just based off of you know a period of a day or two or even a week so these are the types of opportunity that cryptocurrency prevents it pre presents itself sorry guys getting tongue twisted so cryptocurrency presents these types of opportunities for you to be able to take advantage of that now how can we do this and prepare ourselves to put ourselves in this position to win in crypto when it comes to preparing ourselves in cryptocurrency, the best form of strategy is to research all the product, all the projects to the best of our abilities. So a simple tip on how to how to do major research on a cryptocurrency project is look at what type of real, 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 uh, real world utility that the cryptocurrency project has. So essentially we got um, DeFi, right? So if we looked into DeFi. We know that decentralized finance is a major part of cryptocurrency because this is what we want to get away from as cryptocurrency investors is being involved in the and being at the you know the mercy of the banks and how they want to charge us to use their services well guess what cryptocurrency changes all that so decentralized finance would be a sector of something like xrp um xlm you know quant uh, many others now you have the AI, right? So AI has become a huge narrative based on chat GPT and what that has unlocked for the world. Obviously, many people are using it. Kids are using it to cheat on their homework. College students are using it to do their reports. There's so much crap behind it, but there's a positive behind it, right? Because AI helps do all that legwork that in a business, when you're utilizing AI, you're actually being able to cut out the middleman and cut out the one that's inputting all the data while ai goes and collects all the data and sorts it all out and puts it in different categories or however business needs so there is a negative to ai there's a positive but as far as business standpoints and being able to save costs and generate more income ai is the way to go now i think that ai crypto is going to be pretty major <clears throat> because we need that decentralized um, ai service in the web three spaces and in, in businesses as well so it's going to be one of those big narratives so how do you discover the 20x ai projects while well, you go and research which ones have more real world value for businesses for consumers for investors once you can figure that part out then you could actually take the time sort those out put some into a category and say hey these five out of the 50 that i just looked up have the most potential to give me the most gains now same with any other cryptocurrency you take the spaces that you're interested in because the only thing that's going to bring value to yourself is for you having the interest in doing that so if you have no interest in looking at nfts which i don't because i think there's just too much behind them I, I'm not interested in looking through a million NFTs to see that, oh, this one brings more value because just not my cup of tea, it is for other people. But mine is understanding what type of utility, what type of value that crypto projects can bring for me and for other people that I think that would find this usable for us to be successful in crypto. So that's how you separate yourself <clears throat> from looking for that quick 100x that quick 50x is understanding how to put yourself in position to be able to make these picks and put yourself into um, an entry in cryptocurrency uh, with one foot ahead so let's talk about now how you go about 
building these portfolios so building these portfolios we essentially the best method is once you discover which cryptocurrencies you really want to invest in then you start to dollar cost average into these portfolios or into these projects because what that does is it gives you an opportunity to not necessarily buy in at one period of time you're going to spread yourself out um, being consistent and what you're going to do is you're going to find that over dollar cost averaging um, gives you a better position in the market because you may enter in a higher a little bit higher price but the next entry or the next investment or dca you make could potentially put you at a you know a higher value of purchase when getting in at a lower price so it gives you a nice solid balance throughout the period of time you may hit some consecutive lows and you may hit some a couple highs but at the end of the day when you're it's all said and done you're going to have a, a nice balance of getting in generally you'll end up on the lower end but this is only if you're getting in our dc and a our dollar cost averaging <laughs> into a bear market right we don't want a dollar cost average into a bull market because generally what you're do you're doing is you're pumping in a bull market and then all of a sudden you pumped all the money in and it just tanks but i'm not talking about right now i'm talking about when you're at the peak of the bull run where we're already about 150 to 200 days out from today and you're trying to jump into these projects that are already 10 to 15 to 20 x then you're putting yourself in a bad position so once you break all these myths of cryptocurrency thinking that you could get in today and make 100k tomorrow you'll put yourself in a lot better position i really hope you got some value out of this video i just really wanted to change the mindset of thinking that you could 100x or 50x or 200x your gains from one day to the next it's highly impossible it takes a long stretch it takes a little bit of time you know to build a portfolio build your positioning and then take profits along the way up so this is one of the key strategies that i talk about in my patreon guys the patreon is in the link it will essentially help you understand how to change your mindset how to change your mentality and how to build a better solid portfolio with understanding that you've done the most amount of research those research tips lie within the patreon hope you guys could at least check it out sign up join it i got uh, a lot of information that i would love to give to you to help become a better cryptocurrency investor so aside from that make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe to run my crypto channel always try to provide nothing but the best information for my community and do what i can to help you out take care guys be blessed as always and this is not financial advice.